been in the St. Louis Public School system for 16 years. I started off as a first grade teacher and then I went on to become a guidance counselor. My passion for counseling came as a direct result from being around my mom who was a guidance counselor in the district as well for over 36 years. Watching my mom, I would come home and people from her school would be there. And I'm like, who is this? And she's like, oh, this is, you know, whoever. And she doesn't have a prom dress. So we're about to go to the mall and get, get her, you know, things for prom. And so she instilled that in me and that's what I do. I think of it as a selfish occupation. I give so much, but I get so much in return. I think it's important for me to work with students who are underserved. I love this place. I really do. I love Vashon. It's not located in the best neighborhood, but it's not the worst, you know, and so we just take what we have and we make dreams come true. I did two masters at the same time, and one is um, in educational technology from Leslie University. And then I went on to pursue um, my doctoral degree at UMSL as well. I really like technology a lot, and I realized that from working here with students, it's like the way to really capture them. Because a lot of times students won't just come out and say things, but they'll email you. They are more likely to open up, especially the ones who normally wouldn't. They will use technology. The most important thing that I've learned is um, trying to get students to realize that once you put it out in cyberspace, you cannot get it back. So it's not like the note that, you know, when I was in school, you would pass notes to people and you get the note back. So it's kind of, you know, questionable whether the note was ever written or what was on the note. But with technology, once you put it out there, it doesn't come back. So you have to be very um, specific with what you're saying and doing because you never know when it's going to come back.